After the violent storms that made their way through the region earlier this spring, livestock producers have had to navigate some challenges due to excessive moisture and an immense amount of mud in their pastures. We've had some challenging weather the last month, as everyone knows. Miranda Meehan is a livestock and environmental stewardship specialist within NDSU Extension. She says the mud leaves many farmers and ranchers with nowhere to put their cattle. There's just not a lot of options for people to get animals out of the mud too, because um, lots are the lots are muddy. Mud harbors pathogens very, very well. Zach Carlson, an NDSU Extension beef cattle specialist, urges ranchers and farmers to be aware of the possible health risks that come along with calves being in a muddy area for a long period of time. Maybe the cow's udder's dirty, covered in mud, which contains manure and some of these pathogens. That calf's going to consume that, then the, that mud, and get that in its mouth and its digestive system, and then now we've got a digestive infection, right? And, and then we'll see it in scours. However, it is important that the cattle are not moved from the muddy lots to the pasture before the grass is grazing ready. If we graze our grasses too early, it can set us back in terms of total production for the grazing year up to 60% or more. Because of that, Meehan advises ranchers use good judgment when putting animals out to graze. She also says some of the region's tame grasses, such as brome, have reached grazing readiness. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.